The Advent Reading Plan of the Holy Bible, the Prophecy of Isaiah, and the Wisdom of Solomon on the Meaning of Catholic. Jesus is King. This is Timothy Flanders at the Meaning of Catholic. Welcome to a Guild family stream. Yes, bud. Battery was was charged up, but but the remote control was beeping red. It's not. Is it not charged up? Yeah, and and, and this is what it said. Hi, it's not charged up. That's not kind. Did you? Can you? Well, is didn't. it working now? No. Is it okay? Can you go upstairs and ask mom for help, please? Can you close the door, please? So. All right, see ya. So we're we're dealing with um, uh, early Christmas presents from Grandma. So that's what's happening at the Flanders household. Um, so today, today on the Guild Family Stream, we're talking about the Advent reading plan, prophecy of Isaiah, and the wisdom of Solomon. And I wanted to just so the first five ten minutes of this will be public for everybody. And then the rest of it will be for the guild only. So if you want the full thing, you need to become a guild member. What's up, buddy? One more thing. Jack's, Jack's hiding from me. And he's just doing this. And he, he's putting on, on a show. And, and, and Thomas said, we'll hide, he, we're hiding from you. Okay. That's not very kind. Yeah. Can you go upstairs and ask mom for help and close the door, please? All right. Yeah. Uncharged <laughs> batteries. Oh, no. That's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I need to deal with some uncharged batteries. Um, so, um, as I said, we'll we'll have uh, first five, ten minutes of this will be public viewing. And then if you want the full thing, you want to join the Fellowship of St. Anthony. Join us for the full Bible in a year reading plan, according to the traditional office of Matins, become a guild member, patreon.com slash meaning of Catholic. Thank you to all the guild members for supporting us. Thank you for all your support, which helps this whole show and apostolate work. So let's talk uh, what we'll go through on this. We'll, we'll just go through the, the reading plan. We'll talk a little bit brief, some logistics about what's going on in Advent. We're going to talk about the four senses of scripture. We'll talk about the meaning of Isaiah that it is Jesus is Lord. And then we'll talk the literal, typological, and anagogical meaning of Isaiah. And then we'll talk briefly Book of Wisdom and the Jewish Alexandrian Logos tradition. And then 6, 7, and 8, how to read the scripture for a spiritual prophet, audio versions available, and safe commentaries. So first, let's get into the four senses of scripture. So this is a from my book, Introduction to the Holy Bible. Uh, there are traditionally the four senses of scripture. So every scripture, every me, every piece of scripture has potentially three, uh, four different meanings. And then within these different meanings, and we'll talk about this, there's actually different layers of those same meanings. So first of all, you have the literal, the uh, literal meaning points back to the historical events of scripture. The typological meaning takes that moment in time that describes a historical event and points forward to Christ and the church. And then we have the tropological meaning that points downward to the mortal life of a Christian. So this is, so this is like faith and morals, essentially. So this is directing your life, your tropos, which is the way of the way of, of uh, turning uh, tropos, the way of life. And then we have the anagogy. The anagogical meaning points upward towards heaven and the world to come. That's more of an eschatological view. Uh, so we have backwards and forwards. We have upwards and downwards. And this is the beauty and the depth of Holy Scripture because it points in all directions, um, even as it uh, speaks to a particular time and place. So uh, we look at the the meaning of Isaiah, Yesha Yahu in Hebrew, literally means Jesus is Lord. 
because the name Jesus is a Hellenized version of Yeshua, and which means salvation. And this is one of the most powerful things about the Hebrew Old Testament, because if we consider that the Hebrew name Yeshua, which is salvation, then we understand that this brings out the holy name of Jesus throughout the Old Testament. Now, this is only, Jerome does not, does not bring this out except in one place, in the Dewey Reims, in the, the Latin Vulgate, in, which comes out in the Dewey Reims. And it's at, the, it's at the very end of the prophecy of Habakkuk. Um, so Habakkuk chapter 3, um, uh, chapter 3, verse 18, Habakkuk 3.18 which says this, I will rejoice in the Lord and I will joy in God, my Jesus. I will joy in God, my Jesus. And this is the Hebrew word Yeshua. So Yeshua, Yahu, Jesus is Lord. Ye Jesus is God. Jesus is the almighty Lord of Exodus 3. That is what this means. That is the name of Isaiah. That's what it means. So if we take this understanding and we go over to, we flip over to uh, Isaiah chapter 12, for example, chapter 12, verse 2. So we, when we see the word Savior or salvation, we can insert the name of Jesus because the Hebrew brings this out. So it says, verse 2, 12, 2, behold, God is my Jesus. I will deal confidently and will not fear because the Lord is my strength and my praise and he is become my Jesus. You shall draw waters with joy out of the fountains of Jesus. So this is what the Hebrew brings out. And this is what, um, this is what St. Jerome brings out in, in Habakkuk, the only place that he does it, but this is present in the Hebrew. And this is what's so powerful about the name Isaiah which means Jesus is Lord. And if you have the, uh, again, we, we recommend um, only two English translations, either the Dewey Reims Chaloner edition, which is, uh, this is, I'm reading from my pocket edition. This is the pocket edition published by Bronius Press. Um, also the, um, the, the RSV second Catholic edition, that is the other one that we recommend just because, the and, and we've gone over this in other places, but um, I go over it in my book. Let's see, do I have that text handy? I've got the uh, New Testament up there, but I don't have the, I can't remember where I put that original, that full version. But, so this is the importance of the the Hebrew text. But if you if you have this, um, the Dewey Reams Challenger edition published by Baronius, it's, it talks about this name that we just brought out with Isaiah right in the very beginning of the text. So this is in that Dewey Reims version. And if you read these little introductions to each book of the Holy Bible, it actually gives you, gives you these contexts, gives you the Hebrew meaning, some things like that, um, that, that bring out these, these different senses of Scripture. So you see, so already if we apply these four senses of Scripture and we understand the name of uh, the name Jesus is Lord, then obviously there is a there is a literal historical meaning, first of all, which has to do with Isaiah's historical context that we can bring out when we talk about Jesus is Lord and we look at Ch Isaiah chapter 12. Um, and there's a literal historical meaning to that, but there's also a typological meaning, which points forward to Jesus Christ and the church, obviously. And there's also an anagogical meaning, which points to the eschaton and the worlds to come, as well as a uh, tropological meaning. And we'll get into all of that in the, the rest of the Guild stream. If you want the rest of this, again, go to patreon.com slash meaning of Catholic. You can also donate meaning of Catholic.com slash donate. 